Copper by Kazu Kibushi. Looks like I have to make a trip to the store. We're out of washers. Great! I wanted to get a couple things too. I can't believe we're almost done with that stupid airplane. We've spent so much time talking about it, it's hard to imagine actually flying in it. <laughs> we could die, couldn't we? We're not gonna die, Fred. How do you know? We could crash and burn up like tamales. Tamales don't burn up, Fred. And of course there's always a chance we might crash. That doesn't mean it's going to happen. I'm hungry. Why are we here again? Washers. Hey, Copper. I think we really need some of these. Parachutes? You're really worried we're going to crash, aren't you? Better safe than sorry, right? Whatever you say, Chief. Where are we going to fly anyway? Goat Island was first on my list of places to visit. I didn't realize we were going so far. You think our plane can make the trip? Of course it can. The question you should be asking yourself is whether or not you think we can make the trip to Goat Mountain. Of course, even if we didn't, after a long day of trekking, we'll treat ourselves to some melon bread at Aunt Coco's. That alone makes the whole trip worthwhile. What are you buying those for? I just remembered I promised Aunt Coco I'd bring her some red berries. Uh-oh. We have to pick up some beef jerky. What for? For Marco. He's the guy who gave us the great deal on the wings. He loves beef jerky, so I told him I would bring some back from Bolt City next time we met. I still can't believe the deal we got on those quality wings. Marco's a great guy. So buying some dehydrated meat is the least I could do. Uh-oh. What now? We have to get some ion chargers for my friend Remy. Man, that is a lot of stuff. Your total is 240 lugs, paper or plastic. That cost a whole lot more than I thought it would. You're not going to like hearing this, Fred, but we're pretty short on funds. I don't know what happened, but it looks like the account's nearly cleaned out. I think we bought way too much jerky. Those fancy parachutes didn't help either. Tell that to me after you hit the eject button. What's wrong now? The plane's taunting me. Don't be ridiculous. You didn't eat anything strange, did you? Look, Fred, what do you want me to do? I can spend the whole night telling you that everything's going to be okay, but I get the feeling you won't listen, so it looks like I'll just have to go ahead and tell you the truth. The truth is, you don't worry enough. The takeoff is only the beginning. Once we're up in the air, we'll forget about crashing since we'll be too busy worrying about a million other things, like navigating a giant spore storm, or avoiding a school of sailfish. What if we don't find time to visit our favorite landmarks or our favorite cities? What if we don't encounter any of our favorite flying creatures? What then? You see, Fred, there's plenty for us to worry about. So let's concentrate on building the plane for now, okay? What? Why are you looking at me like that? Very clever, Copper. Very clever. You can fool me all you want, but I'm doing this project on my own initiative, and not because you have a way with words. So let's finish this puppy. Pass the wrench. One week later. Are you ready, Fred? Ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Okay then, here we go. Now we just have to pick up speed. Everything's looking good. We'll reach flight velocity soon. Copper, how much runway we got? At least a mile. That's more than enough. You sure about that? Positive! We're off the ground. <sighs> Pull up, Copper! I'm trying! 
Copper, we lost our wings. Hold on, I'm too young to die. We did it, we're flying, we're in the air. What's wrong? The wings weren't the only thing that broke. Please tell me you can fix this and make it all go away. I dunno, Fred. It looks like the thing broke pretty good. What do we do now? We wait for the engine to stop. I guess that's it. Hold tight, Fred, and brace for impact! Fred! You okay? Fred! Wake up! Fred? Fred? We did a terrible job building this plane. Yeah, we did, didn't we? Can you move? I think so. Doesn't look like there's any permanent physical damage. Just plenty of the emotional kind. Good. So you're ready to build another plane? How about we just build a bicycle?